Oh, yeah. We have breaking animal news just coming across here. I'm happy to bring this animal news to you. Mm-hmm. Most of the news networks, it's all about humans, this, humans, that. What are humans? Oh, humans, you know what? Boring. <laughs> Let's talk about what animals are doing. This is a great one. Okay. Maybe you remember this story about Bunter the cow. Bunter the cow lives in New Zealand, and she has a friend named Rosie. Well, Rosie passed away. Oh, no. So they were best friends. Rosie passed away. Bunter's left. Well, anyway, Bunter started hanging out with a therapy goat that they brought in named Peaches. Now, follow me on this. I don't, I don't. Okay? No, 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 follow me. It's not that hard. We've got a goat. It's not got, that hard to no, follow Bunter, Rosie. Rosie, and Rosie passed away. Rosie's gone. Well, we have Bunter, and then they brought in... Peaches. Peaches, the therapy goat, and then she started cavorting again. Bunter, eating and cavorting like she was happy again. So, Bunter was... Suffering from depression is what yes, you're saying. Yes, very as a depressed. Cow. Wasn't eating, wasn't moving around. It was just very sad. Well, then they bring in this therapy goat, and she's full of life. Peaches. But here's the twist. This is where <laughs> Peaches <laughs> disappeared, and they didn't know where she went. And Bunter got extreme, or extremely sad again because Peaches wasn't around. Okay? I cannot believe this is happening. Local police were notified. <laughs> it just keeps getting more and more ridiculous. <laughs> And oh my goodness. recently, the police say they Brent. Peaches was spotted on a nearby property. Brent. They brought her back, and now Bunch of the oh Cow and Peaches goodness. are happy again. I can't. I can't. They're together again, and now they put up electric fencing and stuff, so they should be fine. Sure, let's Peaches shock take Peaches, it out Peaches with everything. Take Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> let's stop everything. It's not about shocking Peaches. <laughs> It's about keeping people out who otherwise might take the goat away, oh Sherry. Goodness. It's not to electrocute Peaches the goat. Anyway, they're back together and I everything can't. is wonderful again, you guys. This is a great story. <laughs> Jesus' very first words in the book of John. I thought this was so interesting. My friend Don pointed this out. I'm like, I have no idea what his first words are in the book of John. No idea. His first words to a couple guys he didn't know yet, hadn't met, were, what do you want? And that's a great question. Mm. That's like a really big question. And I, th- I gather he meant a lot more than just what's up. Because they were two followers of John, and then they were following him. And he said, what do you want? And he's like, great question. It's what my, my friend Don was saying, like, to think about yourself. Like, what do I actually want? Really? We get started complaining about things, or we get, we're, we're not content, or, but we actually don't even know what we're really wanting. And it's good to answer that question instead of just kind of banging around from one side to the next and not sure quite what's going on. I know I'm just not happy. Can we talk about the news that we just shared, the breaking animal news? I'd rather not. Well, if you it's, missed it, it was, it was a... <laughs> Okay, we, we're going to, I guess. Oh, now you're all caught up over it. it was, um... <laughs> now it's emotional. <laughs> the therapy goat named Peaches was yes. brought in, but then... Bunter Brent. the cow was happy, and then he, yes. he just got stolen. Brent. And now they're reunited. Come on. So, what? What? You don't want to. That's don't, just. You, you find nothing inspiring about the story no. about reuniting. No. Because we don't know that Bunter was suffering from depression because Bunter the cow we can't tell know. us. I am depressed. Sherry, we do know. We know that a cow has depression. Okay, her therapy goat's gone and she suddenly stops eating. (laughs) Why do we have a therapy goat for a cow? Because the point is, it's a great story (laughs) and if anyone with a heart, anyone with feelings remaining in their body that has not become so numb to beautiful stories would find this emotional. (laughs) 